Ay, teacher, I'm fine, and you? Fine, teacher. 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 Fine, Fine, okay, very good. Man. I mean, tell me, how was school? Do you have classes or exams? Uh, classes, but boring. Boring, okay. <laughs> okay, we are tell me, what do you have for lunch today? I didn't eat lunch. I didn't eat lunch. I didn't mm -hmm. eat lunch. Why not, Miriam? That's too bad. I slept all, all evening. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Like, Miriam, how long did you sleep? I started to sleep um, four and six, four, six, seven, fifteen. Very good. Okay, man. Just a second. So. You were tired, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. I mean, tell me, what about in the morning? What do you have for breakfast? Cereal. Cereal. Okay, super, super light, Miriam. Okay, super light. Okay, yes. very good, Miriam. Okay. Okay, so let's, let, let's continue, Miriam. Okay, I'm going to share the board with you. And let's continue with the activities we had yesterday. Some pending that we, is going to be there, okay? Very good. Okay, here it is. That one, okay, good. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Okay, so there, okay, here we have the unit five also for the TOEFL listening practice book, okay. Let's move with this, it says, a speaker's purpose questions, okay. It says, a speaker's purpose questions asks if you understand the main reason why the speaker is talking. When giving an announcement or a talk, the speaker always has a reason or goal for speaking, okay. Sometimes the reason is stated directly, why something is given indirectly. It is your job to understand why the speaker is talking. A speaker's purpose questions ask for the practical meaning of a speaker's words. These kinds of questions are to read between the lines. The information is that in the passage is only part of the answer. A speaker's purpose questions can relate to the general meaning of a passage or focus on a specific phrase. All the speaker's purpose questions your job is to either show you understand why a teacher makes a, a specific statement or understand the inner purpose of an announcement or talk. Use the following helpful hints to answer the example questions. Announcement talk speaker's purpose. Questions are like this. What is the purpose of the talk? What is the purpose of the announcement? Why is the speaker's purpose? Why is the teacher talking about the assignment? Okay, me repeat, repeat, please. Strategy one, listen. Mm. Listen to the start. No? Listen to the start. Since the announcement talks are, are so short, the speaker usually states his her general reason for speaking early on, focus on the beginning of announcement. Talk much like you would for a main idea. To find, to find, to find um, the answer to a focus question. Okay, look at the next. It says, listen to the tone of the voice. It says, this study doesn't provide a 100% guaranteed correct answer, but not knowing the general mood of a speaker greatly increases your chances of answering a speaker's purpose question correctly. If a speaker sounds upset, the correct answer choice should reflect that mood. The same is true for happy tones. Your answer choice should match the perceived tone. Okay, please. Number three, please use main ideas. 
use main ideas strategies. Main idea of speakers for post questions or, or almost the exact same. The difference is that speakers for post questions will ask you for the general or practical reason. A speaker talks about a main idea question will ask you for a specific topic. The following example illustrates a speaker's purpose strategies and provides you with one speaker's purpose example question. Announcement, example announcement talk excerpt. Listen to a hockey coach talking to his players. Premium, okay boys, we are down. Mm. Right. Okay boys, we are down three goals and we are going into the last period. We really need to hustle if we are going to win this one. I know you boys have it in you. We have all season with you losing a game. Let's just let's keep it that way. Okay, information is over, get back over there and win. What is being just mean a hostel? Hostel. Mm. We really need I to hostel. They mean please on one note, please. Hostel. Hostel. Host mean is apurarse. Darse prisa. Okay, so it says, what is the purpose of the talk? A, to motivate the players to win. B, to explain how the team is going to lose. C, to scold the players for their poor performance. Or D, to remind the players how good the other team is. Miriam, what is being this one? To scold. Scold. I don't know. Like, I mean, please write that. Scold. Tell me the copy. Scold. 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 I mean, it's castigar. Castigar. Scold. Very good. Okay, so let's listen. Let's listen to this excerpt, okay? Uh, let me see if I share the, the sound for you. Let me check it. Okay. Ah, yes. Good. Okay. Unit 5. Speakers Purpose Questions. Example Announcement or Talk Excerpt. Listen to a hockey coach talking to his players. Okay, boys. We are down three goals and we're going into the last period. We really need to hustle if we are going to win this one. I know you boys have it in you. We've gone all season without losing a game. Let's keep it that way. Okay, intermission is over. Get back out there and win. What is the purpose of the talk? I mean, what is the purpose of this talk? Okay. Next minute, I, I will read. Okay, so Miriam, what is the purpose of the talk, Miriam? To motivate the players to win. Very good. Okay. Announcement talk example. It says, listen to principal making an announcement. Miriam, good morning, students. Good morning, students. As you all know, the school walkway can be very dangerous in the winter. We are asking all the students to use the main doors to enter the school in the morning. The side and back entrance do not get shoveled, 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 shoveled or salt, salt, salted, salted, salted until nine o'clock a.m. and are quiet. Slippery, slippery. Mm -hmm. With eyes before that, please avoid using all the, all the door until after lunch. Thank you. Very good. So here, mira, what is going on? Walkways. Walkways. Oh, todo junto, mira. The school walkways. What is that, mira? The school Pasito. walkways. Very good. Los pasillos de la escuela. Very good. Here, another mira. This one, mira. What is, what is mira? Shoveled mm -hmm. or salted? 
quizás, mire, shovel o solted. Ok, shovel, mire, shovel es paleado. Es decir, que palea la nieve para que las personas puedan pasar. Shovel, paleado. O limpiar con pala, quizás, limpiar con pala. Okay. Solted, solted es una técnica muy viejita, que eso es, miren, salar. Es decir, a la nieve le echan sal para que se disuelva. Salted, salar. What is slippery? Slippery, es slippery, resbaloso. Slippery, resbaloso. Ok. Se que dice, why is the purpose of the announcement? A, to ask students to use the main doors. B, to tell students to not, not to use the school entrances. C, to explain why the school is closed until lunch. D, to remind students that walkways are icy in winter. ¿Qué es eso? Mira, mira, mira. Icy. ¿Qué es eso? Mira, icy. ¿Nieve? O un, más que viene congelado. Con una capa de hielo. Congelado, con una capa de hielo. Ok, bien. So, listen to this part, ok. Announcement or talk example. Listen to a principal making an announcement. Good morning, students. As you all know, the school walkways can be very dangerous in the winter. We are asking all students to use the main doors to enter the school in the morning. The side and back entrances do not get shoveled or salted until 9 a.m. and are quite slippery with ice before that. Please avoid using all other doors until after lunch. Thank you. What is the purpose of the announcement? Almost, bien. almost, almost, almost. Okay. Very good. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, man, what is the purpose of the announcement? To tell. I will, I will read the, the question, okay? You tell me the answer. What is the purpose of the announcement? To tell the students not to use the school entrance. Okay, dictation, okay? Listen to a gymnastic coach talking to her gymnast. As you know, our big semi-final meet is a month from now. They may seem like a long time, but it's hardly any time at all. When we go next month, the girls in middle town, midfield, and stubborn are very skilled gymnasts, but we can. Okay, so let, let's let's answer. Okay, so it's number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so let's listen. Okay, very good. Dictation number one. Listen to a gymnastics coach talking to her gymnasts. As you know, our big semi-final meet is a month from now. That may seem like a long time, but it's hardly any time at all. It's essential that your routines be perfect when we go next month, so we'll be practicing every day until then. The girls in Middleton, Medfield, and Stover are very skilled gymnasts, but we can compete against them if we practice. What is the purpose of the talk? Okay, listen again, okay? Very good. Dictation. Number one. Listen to a gymnastics coach talking to her gymnasts. As you know, our big semi-final meet is a month from now. That may seem like a long time, but it's hardly any time at all. It's essential that your routines be perfect when we go next month, so we'll be practicing every day until then. The girls in Middleton, 
Medfield and Stover are very skilled gymnasts, but we can compete against them if we practice. What is the purpose of the talk? Okay, so listen again, okay? Very good. Dictation. Number one. Listen to a gymnastics coach talking to her gymnasts. As you know, our big semi-final meet is a month from now. That may seem like a long time, but it's hardly any time at all. It's essential that your routines be perfect when we go next month, so we'll be practicing every day until then. The girls in Middleton, Medfield, and Stover are very skilled gymnasts, but we can compete against them if we practice. What is the purpose of the talk? Big man. Okay, we'll stop each sentence, okay? Very good. Dictation. Number one. Listen to a gymnastics coach talking to her gymnasts. As you know, our big semi-final meet is a month from now. That may seem like a long time, but it's hardly any time at all. It's essential that your routines be perfect. It's essential, very good. Ah, remember, essential, look at this. Essential, okay? So the word S. It's essential, okay? That your routines, look at this. Routines, very good. It's essential that your routines be perfect. Very good. When we go next month, okay? Okay, listen to the next, okay? When we go next month. So we'll be practicing every day until then. We'll be practicing. We'll be practicing. Very good. Every day. Until then. Until, until then. Remember, until. Okay, until. Then. Remember, then. Remember, then. Until then. Hasta entonces. Very good. Very good. Okay, so let's continue. It says, <clears throat> the girls in Middleton, Medfield, and Stover are very skilled gymnasts, but we can compete against them if we practice. We can compete, compete against them, against them, against them, 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 against them, them. Very good, okay, if we practice, okay. Okay, so read again, okay, it says, I will read N and you read W. It says, listen to a gymnastic coach talking to her gymnast. Okay. As you know. As you know, or. Until or the semifinal. Semifinal? Semifinal? Semifinal match. Meet, 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 meet. Meet is a month for now. That may seem like a long time, but it's hardly any time old, old. Meet. It's essential that your routines be perfect. When we go next month, we will practice in every day, every day until then. The girls in Midland Town. Midfield and Stover are very skilled gymnasts, Good. But, but we can compete against them if we uh, practice. Com compete, compete. Very good. Excellent. Compete against them if we practice. Okay. So, man, what is the purpose of the talk, man? 
to get the, to get the group excited about gymnastics, to tell the gymnasts that their meet is next month, to show the skill of the girls from Middletown meet finish over, D, to tell the gymnasts that they will be practicing every day until the meet. Exactly, Miriam. Letter D. Very good. Excellent, Miriam. Excellent. Good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To tell. Very good. Okay. All right. Listen to a German teacher talking to his class. Yes. Our final exam will be next week. They will be, make sure you know, from the entire semester. If you have any further questions about the material on the team, then, okay, Hans, during his office hours on Wednesday. Okay, so let's listen to that, okay? Number two. Listen to a German teacher talking to his class. Our final exam will be next week. There will be listening, grammar, and writing on the exam. Make sure you know the verb tenses we've gone over this week, as well as the vocabulary from the entire semester. If you have any further questions about the material on the exam, then you can visit our teaching assistant, Hans, during his office hours on Wednesday. What is the speaker's purpose? Very good. There he goes. Number two. Listen to a German teacher talking to his class. Our final exam will be next week. There will be listening, grammar, and writing on the exam. Make sure you know the verb tenses we've gone over this week as well as the vocabulary from the entire semester. If you have any further questions about the material on the exam, then you can visit our teaching assistant, Hans, during his office hours on Wednesday. What is the speaker's purpose? Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, man. The table, so, okay. I, I will play it again and I stop on each number sentence. two. Listen to a German teacher talking to his class. Our final exam will be next week. There will be listening, grammar, and writing on the exam. Very good. We will be listening, grammar. Ah. Okay, oh. then we will be listening, grammar, and writing. And writing on the exam. And then we will listening. Remember, grama. Look at this. Grama. Grama. Very good. And writing on the exam. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Look at this. Make sure you know the verb tenses we've gone over this week, as well as the vocabulary from the entire semester. Very good. Make sure you know, okay, the verb tenses. Make sure you know the verb tenses we have gone this week. Make sure you know the verb tenses we have gone this week. As the vocabulary from the entire semester. If you have for this week, as well as the vocabulary from the entire semester exam. Make sure you know the verb tenses we've gone over this week, as well as the vocabulary from the entire semester. As well as very good. Okay. Yeah, we very good again. Okay, is it okay? If you have any further questions about the material on the exam, then you can visit our teaching assistant Hans during his office hours on Wednesday. Okay, then you can visit. You can visit. Okay, our teacher assistant. You can visit our teacher assistant Hans 
Y aquí está. Examina, very good, ok. Ok, mira, I will read N and you are M. Ok, says, listen to a German teacher talking to his class. Primero, our final exam. Oh, um, our yes. final exam will be next week. There will be listening, grammar, and writing on the exam. Make sure you know. Bueno, I repeat. You know the very tenses we have gone this week, as well the vocabulary from the entire semester. If you have any for for their questions about the material of the exams, then you can visit our teacher assistant's hands during his office office hours on Wednesday. Excellent. So, I mean, what is the speaker's purpose? A, to give some tips about the final exam. B, to introduce Hans, the teaching assistant. C, to get his students to come to office hours. D, to inform students of the semester's vocabulary. Uh, <clears throat> Excellent, Miriam. To give some tips about the final exam. Very good. Excellent, Miriam. Good, good, good. Okay, so what is the purpose of the talk? Okay, this is A, to show how to trim wood. B, to explain when the coping saw is used. C, to tell how to cut pieces of wood of their next, okay, project. D, to convince the students that the coping saw is a good tool, okay? Okay, Miriam, what is Miriam? Trim, Miriam, trim. 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 Okay, bien. Trim, ok. Cortar, lijar. Cortar, lijar. ¿Qué se me Coping saw. Coping, I don't know. Ok. Coping saw, miren, es una sierrita, mira, te la voy a dibujar. Es más o menos así. Y aquí tiene la hoja. Okay. Y aquí tiene el, el como de donde se agarra. Aquí, mira. Este, miren, copien. So aquí, aquí tiene dentado, ¿no? Aquí son, son sus dientes. Ok. Y es para cortar madera, ¿no? Very good. Ok. Good, good, good. Um, another. Ok, so listen, listen to this question, ok? Very good. Practice test. Number one. Listen to a woodshop teacher talking to students. We'll be learning about a coping saw this week. A coping saw is a simple tool that's used to cut soft pieces of wood. It isn't usually used to carve intricate shapes and is instead used to trim larger pieces of wood. Most people that use coping saws Use them in their home workshops for simple projects. What is the purpose of the talk? Excellent, yeah, very good. Okay. So, number two, yeah, what is the speaker's purpose? To tell the students what they'll be doing on their trip. B, to ask the eight graders to behave on their school trip. C, to list the things in Washington, D.C. that she has seen. D, to remind the students about how exciting it is to meet the senator. What is meaning? D, so mean? Uh, behave, meaning. What is the meaning? What is meaning? Behave. Confiable. Casi, casi, meaning. Que pone primero. Behave, meaning. Comportarse. Así es. Comportarse. Conducirse, ¿no? ¿Cuánto más vas a ver? Y este, miren, que se le miran. To remind. Recordar. Recordar, very good, okay? Okay, so let's listen to that, okay, very good. Number two, listen to a principal talking to a group of students. This year, the eighth grade will be taking an end-of-the-year trip to Washington, D.C. You will have the opportunity to see many famous American sites, such as the Washington and Lincoln Monuments the Vietnam Memorial, the White House, and the Capitol. You'll also have the opportunity to meet a Delaware senator who will be giving you all a presentation about his job. What is the speaker's purpose? 
Very good. Okay. Oh, almost done. Okay, listen again. Listen again. Almost, almost, almost. Very good. Number two. Listen to a principal talking to a group of students. This year, the eighth grade will be taking an end of the year trip to Washington, D.C. You will have the opportunity to see many famous American sites, such as the Washington and Lincoln Monuments, the Vietnam Memorial, the White House, and the Capitol. You'll also have the opportunity to meet a Delaware senator who will be giving you all a presentation about his job. What is the speaker's purpose? Okay, listen to number three. What is the purpose of the announcement? A, to ask all the students to come to the auditorium. B, to remind students to bring their work on Friday. C, to inform students of Thursday class cancellation. D, to remind students about the students' academic fair. Mira, what is this? Mira, academic fair. What is that? Mira. What is that in Spanish? Academia. Very good. Una feria académica. Una feria académica. Very good. Okay, listen to that, okay? Number three. Listen to an announcement on a school intercom. This is a reminder for all Stockton Valley School students. This Friday will be our academic fair, where selected students will be showing their work. Classes will be canceled on Friday morning so that students can view each other's projects. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. If you are participating in the fair, please come to the auditorium at 9.30 to prepare. What is the purpose of the announcement? Okay, listen again. This one is kind of confusing. Okay, listen again. Number three. Listen to an announcement on a school intercom. This is a reminder for all Stockton Valley School students. This Friday will be our academic fair, where selected students will be showing their work. Classes will be canceled on Friday morning so that students can view each other's projects. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. If you are participating in the fair, please come to the auditorium at 9.30 to prepare. What is the purpose of the announcement? I think, very good. So but number four, what is the speaker's purpose? A, to talk about American literature. B, to tell that teaching is a fulfilling job. C, to introduce herself to her new students. Or D, to justify her move from Winchester to Andover. Okay, listen to this one, okay? Number four, listen to a teacher talking to students. Hi, students. My name is Miss Meredith, and I'll be your English teacher this year. I used to teach in Winchester, but moved to Andover last fall. I've been teaching American literature for about 10 years to both middle and high school students. It's been quite a fulfilling job, and I look forward to spending the year with you. What is the speaker's purpose? Okay, number five says, what is the purpose of the talk? A, to give a, a biography of Dr. Warbuck. B, to tell students about the history of Texas. C, to tell students about a lecture in their town. D, to promote their trade town library as a good place for the students. Okay. Number five, listen to a teacher talking to students. I know you feel you have better things to do on a Thursday night, but Dr. Arnold Warbach is coming to town this week. He's the historian who wrote The History of the Lone Star State, which is an incredibly well-done history of Texas. He'll be giving a lecture at the Tritown Library this Thursday at 7 o'clock. What is the purpose of the talk? Almost, almost, okay. Listen, listen again to talk, okay? Almost, okay. 
Number five. Listen to a teacher talking to students. I know you feel you have better things to do on a Thursday night, but Dr. Arnold Warbach is coming to town this week. He's the historian who wrote The History of the Lone Star State, which is an incredibly well done history of Texas. He'll be giving a lecture at the Tri Town Library this Thursday at 7 o'clock. What is the purpose of the talk? Excellent, man. Let's, let's continue. Okay. No, that's that one. You're very good. Okay. Excellent, man. Good. Okay. Six million. What is the purpose of the talk? To introduce Beethoven to the music class, to explore the beauty of Beethoven's music, to tell the, st the students that Beethoven was deaf, to explain the difference between the classical and romantic periods. Miren, what is this one? Miren, deaf. What does that mean? It's deaf. Oh, miren, it's a terrible condition, okay? That in Spanish means sordo, sordo or sorda. Sordo o sorda. Sordo o sorda. Okay, so listen to this, okay? Number six. Listen to a music teacher talking to a class. Beethoven is a well-known composer that you have probably heard of before. Beethoven wrote his music from the very end of the classical period into the romantic period. He is often considered the first romantic composer. His music is so powerful, beautiful, and awesome. These accomplishments are particularly impressive as Beethoven was deaf. What is the purpose of the talk? Almost, yeah. Okay, there you go again. Almost, okay, casi, casi. Number six. Listen to a music teacher talking to a class. Beethoven is a well-known composer that you have probably heard of before. Beethoven wrote his music from the very end of the classical period into the romantic period. He is often considered the first romantic composer. His music is so powerful, beautiful, and awesome. These accomplishments are particularly impressive as Beethoven was deaf. What is the purpose of the talk? Okay, man, let's go to question one. Okay, I will ask the question and then you tell me the correct choice. What is the purpose of the talk? To tell how to put piece of wood for the next project. Very good. What is the speaker's purpose? To tell the students what they all be go doing on their trip. Doing, 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 very good, okay. What is the purpose of the announcement? To remind the students about the students' academic fear. Very good. Number four, what is the speaker's purpose? To introduce herself to her new students. Very good. Number five, what is the purpose of the talk? Well, students about a lecture in your town. Very good. And number six, what is the purpose of the talk? Um, to introduce to the music class. Very good. Okay. Okay. Minute. Here we have been. Here I wrote some. Wait a minute. Some TOEFL. Okay. Some TOEFL. Phrasal verbs. Teacher. Yes. I have a situation. Yes. Um, I need um the finish um the project. Yes. In the university and my my classmates, my yeah, my classmates and the and the, the need and my parts. So can can we have the terminal class and? Ah uh, yes, yeah, so. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's finish the class right now. And I'm going to give you here some homework, okay? 
So yes. tomorrow I will share the board with you and you will see here some activities here on this one, okay? Uh, for yeah, you to maybe, maybe I, I finish and recreate. Exactly. Finish the, again. Exactly. Yeah, the demo and the, the, my part, the, the, my project. So, exactly. yeah. Yeah, no problem, yes. Okay, man. Thank you very much, Mina. Okay, I hope to finish your project soon. Okay, I hope it won't take you so long. Thank you, Mina. Okay, and you the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Take night care. Night. Thank you. Thank you. Night night. Thank you. Night night.